Home Control Unit. What you are currently looking at is the home version of the RCU controller, which offers more functionalities, including integrated control of lighting switches, dimming, air conditioning, curtain control, compatibility with third-party RS-485 devices, and the option to use it as a gateway with its Ethernet port. Now, let's proceed with a detailed introduction of each interface. Starting with the interface on the right side of the module. The first terminal has eight interfaces. The first one is the COM port, with the first one to five interfaces used for room number displays in hotel projects, and the sixth and seventh interfaces used for connecting doorbells. The second terminal is the status output of the dry contacts that led output just for the dry contacts CH1 to CH6. The remaining four terminals are dry contact inputs, totaling 24 interfaces, mainly used for connecting dry contact devices. The PROG button helps in locating devices for commissioning. At the bottom, the rightmost terminal is the bus interface, followed by the hotel-specific interface, a third-party RS-485 interface, and the doorbell output terminal, which functions like one relay circuits with a relatively low voltage. Next, let's explore the left side of the hybrid module, which primarily connects to lighting, curtains, and air conditioning devices. LN is the input for mains power, live and neutral. The three neutral lines need to be combined, connected together. Special attention is needed for the out ports 14, 15, 16, and 17, as they are managed by COM6 and require a connection to the live wire for power supply. The COM5 interface also requires power supply for output 13. COM1 and COM2 are dedicated to air conditioning devices, with COM1 for fan coil outputs and COM2 for valve control outputs. Both COM1 and COM2 require power supply as well. COM3 can be used for lighting and dry contact motors, such as connecting to curtain motors like 6-7 for curtains or 8-9 for shear curtains. Similarly, COM6 can be used for similar purposes. It's essential to note that if you're using a high voltage motor, you can connect it with the live wire of other COM ports. However, if it's a dry contact motor, it needs a separate power supply to avoid damaging the equipment. COM4 is suitable for connecting switches controlling light fixtures. Like the other COM ports, COM4 also requires power supply. Finally, there are interfaces with dimming symbols 18, 19, 20, 21 that support four dimming circuits, which can be connected to leading edge lights. The neutral wires can be combined, but each live wire needs a separate connection. In the middle of these interfaces, 18 to 21, there are a fuse socket for the dimming circuits. If any of the fuses blow, you can easily replace them by removing the fuse seat. The next step is to wire the RCU controller. Simply connect the bus interface. The wiring is done. At the end of the video, you can take a screenshot of all of the interface explanations for your reference.